Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be planning for the month of November in my author planner. November's a very busy month. <laughs> um, my binder is from cloth and paper. Absolutely love it. I'm liking the, the clear plasticky ones at the minute. All my saving ones are like that as well. So let's get started. Let's just move that to the side. I've got my little stickers out from various shops. So the first thing, should I zoom you guys in a bit more, I think? Should I zoom? Is that better? Then you guys can see. Let's move some things around. Let's move that there. There we go. Right, so the first thing is let's get these stickers down. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing is, oh, I don't have it. Do I have it? I don't, I'm going to have to find, here we go. Release day. So excited. So release day is, oh no, please don't touch the <clears throat> This day is the 30th. So excited. Then, from there, I must have all over the place. So, I've got some stickers from Happy Cute Studios. I've got some from um, Lenny's Creations. And then I have some from Procrastinate Planner A Set. So, yes. So, okay, so we've done my release day one. Let's do the upload one. I think it's 10 days. I'm sure it's 10 days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll work for Monday for that to go up. Should we do Monday? Yeah. We'll put that up for Monday. So I know. And then we are doing edits done. I want to do that for the Saturday because then I'm on deadline and it has to be sent to my editor on the 5th. E. <laughs> oh, excited, but I'm just gonna zoom you in a bit more. There you go. So I'm excited for that. Um, I actually, once it's with the, um, editor, that week, I'm going to, see, my kids are off school this week, so go back, so on this day, I actually want to start formatting for my paperback, which I'm very excited for, very excited for, I think arts are going to go out, um, a week before to readers. Um, I can't, I think I've run out. Of, I don't think I have. I don't think I can find them. The first is payday. And then we've got teasers. My teasers, I actually don't know when they're all going to be coming out. I think we're going to scatter them because I've got a lot. So, what I might do is put this on the side here and then just write all my dates and then highlight them with a sticky, um, a sticky thing. <laughs> so, let me just, so I've got these stickers from Cloth and Paper, it's the um the drop ones and i use these for all i have colors for every single um book but this one even though it's a standalone they're all in the same world so i like to just highlight the days that something is happening so once i know when my teasers are going to be coming out I could highlight them all. 
I'm so excited for this book to come out. I'm very, very excited. So there's my, there we go. Um, what else? And then obviously on the first, I am paying with PA and social. Those are my two big outgoings. I'm also paying the editor this month, but I don't know when because I give it to her on the fifth, no, the fifth. So I don't know if she wants it before the fifth or once she sends it back to me. So I'll leave that date free for now. Um, trying to think what else is very important for me this day. This month, well, not this day, this month. Oh, I've got to do countdown images. So I might. Okay, so what I'll do is put this down here and then put that as my countdown images. And then just write down how they want them to be. So we will have a one day. Um, these stickers are beautiful. I'll be definitely, definitely getting more. So one day, three days, three, four, and five days before. So three, four, five days. They're the ones I definitely, definitely want to get. And then I also want, let me just put that up. I also want to get images that are now live. And I think that's it. Oh, I don't know. Did that come off my pen? Look at my hands. I don't know what's happened there. I just definitely need a now live. And then we need one day three days and a five days images then my teasers are all going to be scattered which i'm excited to see all my teasers and that is everything that is what my november month is going to be the very first week is still going to be writing and editing for myself um but other than that oh i need a newsletter actually so let's get this back out so my newsletter will come out on the 30th i don't think i have any um I'm going to put that here. So the 30th will be a newsletter. And so will. I tend to send my newsletters on a Sunday. So will the 5th, the 12th, 19th, and the 26th. So let's get those marked off because when I look at my calendar and I see a sticky note somewhere I know I've written that date down for a reason and then I can plan so those are all my newsletters coming out that month and then the will teasers everywhere oh it's going to be a stressful month See, oh, this pen's leaking because it's leaking here as well. <laughs> that does not look pretty. <laughs> so, yes, that is my planner. Oh, let's just move. Do you know what? I want to move it there and then I can do that. <laughs> so, yes, welcome to a release month for me. And thank you so much for watching this plan with me, my monthly plan with me. And I hope to see you again. Bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel where I plan my author life and mom life and budget for both. <laughs> Today, I am going to share a haul because I got some cash envelopes. 
So I just wanted to share them all with you. <laughs> I've already opened the box, but I opened nothing else just because it had my address on the front of it. So, oh, I'll take it all. Oh, what are these called? Um, peanuts? Are they called peanuts? <laughs> oh, she has um, done this. A very, very making sure nothing gets ruined i love it are these those ones that you can put in water and then they just dissolve i feel like they are right i don't know if that was the best way to undo but so we have the everything happens for a reason I like that i might put that in um something so we've got a thank you. Your purchase is truly appreciated. So I got it from, because it's just got my name, uh, X, OX, Mail Studios. Like, I saw them and I was like, yep, yeah, I need these. So what I ended up getting was, so I brought the A6 Chic Wallet from the aesthetic dollar and crikey i don't know who my dog's barking at right now <laughs> um i watched her video when i fell in love with this purse i, th I just thought it was beautiful it's beautiful i think he's upset because i've shut i think my dog's upset because i shut the door so we would stop barking at everybody <laughs> Um, I think I remember her saying that she was, um, in the process of getting a wallet to match them, um, which I'm really hoping is true. Like for the time being, I, I honestly don't mind this. Doesn't, it doesn't make much of a difference to me, but I just think it would look really nice because I like the one that she has, but I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> so I'm hoping... I don't have to wait too long. And then in the card holder part, I just put the the card that she gave with it. Slim um when I placed this order. I just thought it was really nice. So I wanted to get wallets for this because I made some time ones for my author stuff. Um there's some in here that are for my author, so I'll come back to those. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't know if that one goes on that one or this one. Hold on, two seconds. No, it does. Um, so I brought some for my author one so I can just swap things over. But I wanted to get some for my wallet. Uh, so let's get these in so I've got my miscellaneous obviously that's just your if I'm out and I didn't take money with me or it's for some random thing that I didn't think I needed it's for that <laughs> this one I'm not much of a coffee drinker but I love a cup of tea I absolutely will stop off anywhere to get a nice cup of tea I do have the odd latte and things like that but tea is where my heart is <laughs> spending so that's um spending for me all my spending will go in here and then if i go out specifically for my boys or anything like that then i'll take that wallet and put it in here going out we like to go for well we don't i gotta admit my eldest likes to go to restaurants but not all the time because he absolutely loves when i make food at home so he's never been like he likes to go like say every two weeks or every month because he just likes the food i make at home but i want to start building this up because i have two boys and they eat for tomorrow like like there's no tomorrow seriously and then obviously my groceries cannot wait to take these with me <laughs> you know when you just get that excitement of you know life's just like i mean it is just so chic isn't it 
So yes, I ordered these for that. And then I ordered these for my author binder. So I made them at home, but I wasn't happy with them. I'm still learning how to make them at home, if I'm honest with you. Um, I kind of want to... Sorry, I just popped to the side because I wanted to get my um, cloth and paper paperweight. <laughs> so then it will sit. Um, and I, yeah, I wasn't happy with how I made them. And obviously I'm just learning. And I've made some for my personal binder. And again, it's learning. And I'm happy with the way the ones in my personal ones have turned out. But I think I can make them better. So one step at a time. So let's take all of these out. So I've got it back to the bank. So that's if I ever use my debit card. Then it will come. Then I'll take it out straight away and put it in here. So there's that one. Then my miscellaneous. I always forget one thing or the other. An emergency. I always have author emergencies. <laughs> um, at the minute, I've got £20 in there. Might as well do a quick just to show you what I have in them. They look so cute. Um, paperbacks. That's when I want to order author paperbacks and then send them to readers, like sign them and send them. So at the minute that has 10, 20 and 30. Ooh. I cash stuff every two weeks. Swag, that is like the stickers, um, postcards, if I wanted to make bookmarks on my books and things like that. So at the I have to, the person that did my artwork for my stickers and my postcards, I've got to pay them. So at the minute in that, I have 20, 30, 40, 50. Um, PR company, that is something that I will be using every time I have a book release. Um... And so I have one coming out in November. So I, I am just putting money to the side to pay them. So at the minute I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80. I think it's costing me something like 200. So my next ca my next cash stuffing is going to get a big chunk because I have to pay them next month. So we will get a big chunk. But like I said... Sometimes I need the emergency money, so I will take that out of that if I need to. My amazing PA, who I am telling you, without her, I'd be lost half the time. <laughs> she pushes me, she gets things ready for me, she does so much. So for her, I pay 50, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. I'm not going to say how much I pay her because I don't think I am allowed to. But this isn't a whole month's worth here. I just want to have... So once I take the money out that I do need to pay her, then I will always have money in here. I kind of want always having something in there, which I think I am going to do. I think I might be able to tell you. I want to double check. Social media is all of my, somebody helps do posts for me and helps me out and we talk to each other a lot to say what we want doing. So with her, that one's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2. Again, this is an all for one month. I think I'm going to be doing an unstuffing so then yeah I think that's yeah I think that's what I'm going to do book cover when I have a new book and I've got to pay for my book cover <laughs> which my new book is coming out in November and the cover's coming out next week so I've got to pay 20 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 I think I actually have enough in here to pay for my cover now so that will be nice and last of all, the dreaded 
editing i hate editing with a passion but i will admit editing getting done is not cheap <laughs> not even a little bit so i really need to get this chunked up i don't think i have to pay it until mid-november so let me see how much i've got in here actually i don't even know 50 150 50 100 150 170 190 210 230 250 270 280 290 300 i think i need more in here <laughs> to be fair um i've only just started cash stuffing i used to cast stuff all the time and then i stopped because I wasn't making enough income from my books to do it so i completely stopped and focused and the last few months i've actually started making a bit some nicer money so while i'm making a good income i'm putting 150 every um two weeks so 300 a month in my editing um and then i'm gonna put 150 or however much more i need in my pr one and then after that, it will start getting its weekly, well, bio-weekly stuffing. Because for my next book, I will have enough then. But this one, editing can cost anything from... Right, my, my books are set in America, so my editor is American. Um, So she always charges me in dollars, which is obvious because that's where she lives. So editing always comes to around between $400 and $500. Yeah. <laughs> So I always, I want to try getting at least, obviously all this will be taken out in November, but then in December, I really want to get about seven, eight hundred pounds in here before my next editing, because then I don't have to worry about it. But I will talk more about that in my unstuffing. <laughs> and then you can see how much the editing process actually costs me. Um, and then also from her, I wanted to start a, um, where's the opening thing? Yeah, <laughs> the opening thing. Because I've started making a little bit extra money, I've wanted to put money to the side. So I have my, my wallet and my editing binder, then I'll have, a, I've got a, um, a binder with everything else in it like pampers skincare put money for my boys sports to the side just so it helps my because we are a one house one income household my husband's income and this author one is i'm hoping and fingers crossed that it will become a really really good income for me like it would be amazing but now because the last three months i've made some nice income i wanted to start saving things so i can actually help my husband pay for like some sports stuff for the boys and things but then i also wanted to start my own little because if i want to buy things for the house we really have to look or if i want to go out for a meal for valentine's day we really consider what our weekly budget is and, and i thought to myself three months i've made really good income because I've always had a goal, if on a monthly I can make about 800 to 1,000 pounds in my books a month. And I can once, my number one priority is with my books is always filling out this. Because without this, I can't make any more books. And then once I've done that, then the rest of the money will go into like my other things. So I am going to be very careful with how I spend the money. At the minute, I'm not a zero-based budgeter just because I've been so used to using my card. So I'm slowly getting to that point, hopefully. But like I said, I wanted to start uh, just saving things for me and my husband. So I decided to do a challenge. I've made my own. I haven't finished them yet. Um, I'm... I think my next budgeting video, I might have them finished. It's just something fun I've done at home. I'm not 
planning on selling them. I'm not planning on anything with them. It's just I could buy them, but because I brought <laughs> brought this, um, which when you put the shipping in, but I, I really, really wanted it. And then I, obviously I brought these envelopes. I didn't want to spend any more money on um, buying things for the budgeting because that defines the purpose of me saving <laughs> for it. So I was like, you know what? I've got vellum at home. I've got laminating sheets at home. I've got a laminator at home. I've got Canva because I use it for my book world. Let's just have fun. Make my own little ones. They're not the small ones to go in these. It's like the big ones. But for the time being, it'll be fine. <laughs> I do want to have a challenge for next year, which again, I'll talk. So the other ones that I ended up getting were Valentine's Day. Me and my husband don't do anything for Valentine's Day and we don't get each other's gifts for Valentine's Day. What we do do for Valentine's Day is the weekend before Valentine's Day or the weekend after Valentine's Day, me and my husband and my two boys go out for dinner. Because, yes, it's Valentine's Day and it's with your partners, but I love my boys. So <laughs> they come with Easter. Again, we don't do anything for Easter. We don't go Easter egg hunting um, or anything like that. So this is more for Easter eggs. So I don't really need to put too much in it. I just need to buy Easter eggs for my boys, my husband, uh, my niece and nephew, and then my niece, nephew and nephew, and that's it. I don't really have to do anything else with the Easter one. Halloween, well, my youngest is still into Halloween and likes to dress up. My oldest, he's 14 and all his friends sometimes they have halloween parties last year they went trick-or-treating but this year i don't think any of them are so i'm always going to be filling this up because then i can get halloween decorations because i do like decorating my house black friday well we all know what that's going to be i'm going to try getting planner stuff <laughs> for that one i don't think i'll be cast off in any of these this year if i'm honest i think it'll be starting next year Christmas, this one is mainly not for Christmas presents because me and my husband already have set money for Christmas presents. This is going to be for like Christmas decorations. This is Father's Day. Sometimes my boys want to buy the dad a gift. Sometimes they say, can we go for a meal? So this is just, let's see what they want to do. Mother's Day, again, sometimes my boys will be like, mom, we know what we're getting you. Sometimes they don't have a clue. <laughs> Back to school. This, I found a really good challenge on Etsy and I really want to buy it. So I'm very, very tempted to. It's like little mini ones where you can do uniform, shoes, PE kit and things. So I'm tempted to buy that. And then I have the Seasons. So, with the seasons, I'm actually thinking of starting because what I've made, winter is, starts December something. And I'm like, you know what, in December, up until March, I want to fill it out. I've made a little tracker thing for myself. So, this one I might start. And I'm only going to start them when it's the actual uh, season. And then... I'm thinking the money, so say the winter finishes um, March, off the top of my head, I cannot remember, March, I don't know, 20th. The money that I make from in here, we will use in spring for days out or a special weekend away, depending on, like my husband's always said to me, he goes, if you want to go away, if you can save for the hotel, then he'll pay for everything else. Or if I have enough money for the food and everything like that, then he'll pay for the hotel. So £150 for one night, I can get a hotel and like probably, probably even some food to stop off. So that's my goal for this. This I will use in spring, this I will use in summer, and then the summer one will be in autumn. So yes. And then she has been absolutely lovely and she's also give me a freebie a christmas savings one 
which will save 500. Let me just get that out of the way. Leave that in there. 500. I've got a savings one for this year, but I'm actually going to start this one in January. Because then I have Christmas sorted for next year if I start it in January. Because I could probably finish it quite quick and then just put the money to the side. I'm liking this. I'm wondering. I have some saving channel ch challenge challenges. So I'm just going to put this in with those. Which I think I might do. If you guys are interested in a video just to see what my cash envelope system is like. Um, please just comment below. And I'm more than happy to do so. Like I am very happy to just do that for you guys. Um, where I got my envelopes from I will link them down below. And you can guys can check her out. I will also link my Instagram and i'll even link the shop for my books if anyone is ever interested i write dark romance books <laughs> so yes yeah, so that is my new cash stuffing envelopes and thank you all for watching